Good morning. How is everybody doing today? Okay. I certainly didn't mean to make this more complicated, but um, anyway, we're, we're up and running now. So, okay. So my name is uh, Dr. Arthi Rao. I am a senior research scientist here at Georgia Tech, and I also direct a research center up at Tech Square called the Center for Quality Growth and Regional Development. Mouthful, so we say CQGRD for short. We're affiliated with the College of Design. And um, I'm here to talk to you about how we create healthy communities. How many of you have heard of the concept that our zip code is a better predictor of our health than our, gen than our genetic code? So it looks like it's a very familiar concept. Um, and so that's an underlying, um, seemingly simple, but yet very complex concept that drives a lot of our work. And why is it complex? Because it's extremely multidisciplinary. It requires a lot of collaboration. Uh, and so we're always looking for experts from different fields to work with in this area. So rather than talk to you about a single project, um, I'd like to talk to you about a cluster of different projects we have to demonstrate how we uh, embody this, this concept and this philosophy. So a lot of our work is driven by what we call the socio-ecological model of public health or health in all policies, which basically means it takes the uh, responsibility away from the individual as they are solely responsible for their health, but is also um, attributing responsibility to their environments, which means that we're all responsible for creating healthy communities. And a health in all policies concept implies that all policy is health policy. So whether it's transportation, whether it's housing, um, no matter what area you look at, it is all directly or indirectly impacting health. So um, I'd like to talk to you about some examples of our work and some of our current collaborations. So one way in which we uh, focus on creating healthy communities is using health impact assessments, where we use policy analysis tools to understand um, how a certain uh, policy or project could impact health in the future. Uh, some of the work we've done is, for example, um, the HIA of the Atlanta Beltline to understand or predict what kind of health impacts it could have in the future. And some of our work actually influenced the prioritization of green infrastructure along the Beltline. Uh, I currently work with the Morehouse School of Medicine on a five-year project um, that looks at the socioeconomic well-being of a lower, so, uh, lower socioeconomic African-American families enrolled in public assistance programs such as TANF. So really to understand the disparities and how we can do uh, service provision better to improve their socioeconomic well-being and the imp importance of place uh, and geography um, in influencing those outcomes. Uh, more recently, we've been expanding our work to work with uh, healthcare systems in looking at how they can efficiently use their resources in optimizing community health. I don't know if y'all are aware, but there are several new healthcare policy, uh, both carrots and sticks, um, that penalize healthcare systems if, they're, if they have, for example, frequent readmissions. So healthcare systems are starting to realize that they can't just treat people within their doors and send them on their way. They have to look at it as a continuum. So we're currently working with healthcare systems to uh, look at mathematical models to um, improve their optimization and implementation of resources. We're also, uh, and this is due to a recent grant that we got from the Sustainability Next program, and we're looking at climate justice, particularly for people with disabilities, and this is a, a continuation of our work um, with um, some other grant funded work that we're looking at developing decision support tools for people with disabilities. So we're, how do we use machine learning and those types of techniques to um, improve the lives of people with disabilities and with different, uh, so in, in the space of health equity, right? So how do we uh, make sure that um, health uh, is, is, uh, is a right for everyone and not just certain sections of our society? So these are all the different ways in which we look at health and health equity in communities. I also teach classes 
um, in, in these areas. So I teach built environment public health in the fall semester, and I teach public health analytics in the spring semester. So I'm also training students to think about these concepts and also these methods of how do we implement these concepts. Um, and a lot of the, uh, and one of the classes is co-taught with Emory. So we have Emory students also come in and engage with GT students. So it's a, it's a great environment to really learn about the, the interdisciplinary uh, methods and the concepts. So uh, that was just kind of a glimpse of the work we do. Um, if, if anyone is interested in working in health, we would love to engage with you. Um, so please, please feel free to reach out to us. And uh, thank you for your time.